In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus MgBr2. That's silver nitrate plus magnesium bromide. First thing we need to do with net ionic equations is balance the molecular equation. So I can see I have two nitrate groups here and only one here. So I'm just going to put a 2 in front of the AgNO3. Now I have two silvers and one. I'll put a 2 here. I have two bromines two bromines, one magnesium, and one magnesium. This equation is balanced. Next, we'll write the states for each substance. So silver nitrate, that's very soluble. Nitrates are very soluble, AQ for aqueous. And then magnesium bromide, we expect these bromides to be soluble as well. Put an aqueous in there. Another nitrate, that's going to be aqueous. But the silver bromide, let's look that up on a solubility chart real quick just to make sure. Silver compounds are a little bit strange. So we have silver and bromide. We come over and we see that most of the bromides are soluble with that S. But silver bromide, we have an I. That means that's insoluble. It won't dissolve when you put it in water. Because of that, because it's insoluble, we're going to write an S for solid. So silver bromide is going to be a solid. In fact, it'll be a precipitate. We have these two compounds reacting and this is going to form as a solid and it's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This is going to be the complete ionic equation. So silver nitrate because it's aqueous it's going to split apart into its ions. Silver is a transition metal but it's always one plus that's its ionic charge. So we have two Ag plus and I'll write the states at the end I won't write that now. And then the nitrate this whole nitrate ion here has a 1 minus charge. Good one to remember. So we have a nitrate, NO3 minus, the nitrate ion. Magnesium is group 2, 2 plus. Bromine, that is a 1 minus. So we're going to have Mg2 plus, and then the bromine, or the bromide ion, I should say, is Br minus. But this subscript here, that means we'll have two of them. Those are the reactants. For the products, we said we had a 2 plus, that's in group 2, our nitrate, 1 minus. So we'll have Mg2 plus plus 2 of these nitrate ions. And then because we have a solid here for silver bromide, for solids in net ionic equations, we don't split them apart. So it's just going to be 2 AgBr. And this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. They really haven't changed. They're the same at the start as they are at the finish. And so I can see there's a problem here. I have NO3 minus here and then two of them. And when I look back at the equation, this coefficient here too, it goes to the Ag and the NO3. So always be thinking if you see these not matching up, go back and check just to make sure. I have two nitrates. So two nitrates in the reactants, two in the products, we can cross those out. Uh, magnesium ion, magnesium ion, cross it out. But everything else, that's unique. And this is the net ionic equation. Let me clean this up and put the states in, and we'll have the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus MgBr2. So this is our net ionic equation for silver nitrate plus magnesium bromide. When we have a coefficient in front that we can reduce to a lower number, we should do that. So this 2, 2, 2, that could just be 1, 1, 1, and we don't write the 1s. You'll also notice that the charges balance out. We have a positive and a negative here. They cancel out. This is a neutral compound. And we have one silver atom, one silver atom, one bromine, one bromine. So that's how you know that you've really balanced this correctly. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.